or Azimio. He has, be, he has to be neutral and serve members. So you will see a lot of uh, talk about political parties diminishing. That does not mean parties have been killed. Okay. And I, I know it will not work. Our president and our leader, the Kenya Kwanzaa party leader, believes in democracy. And that's why whatever he promised to each and every party leader when they joined him, he has fulfilled. You know, when, when, when he talked of politics of deceit, politics of conmanship, come, I will give you this. And after we win, I don't give you. All these guys... Explain to me, what, what does that mean? It's been very interesting, what this politic of conmanship, what does that mean? The politics of conmanship is like what happened to Kalonzo Musioka. You are told, come, you will be my deputy. Then when the time for deputy comes, go do an interview. Then the results, Kiramisi, are the ones taking Kalonzo through an interview. Then an interview, Kalonzo sits <laughs> through an interview with Mother Karua, and Mother Karua becomes the, 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 the winning candidate for heavenly sake. That is conmanship. That is deceit. Okay. That is what, we, what Ruto was saying. We, we have to kill that politics because it, it has to go. It can't work. And it was the third, actually, the third, the liberation. You know, the first liberation, we had the likes of Baba doing very well in the first liberation and the second liberation. Mm -hmm. But now the young generation, the, you know, the generation, generation of change, which has been brought by Ruto, has killed the politics of deceit. Look at what our, our big brother, the former president, did. Ruto goes around, builds jubilee for him, and brings him to state house, brings him MPs, and what does he do? He kicks, he kicks him out. Okay, let's, then, let's, let's get a response from, from, from Kamisi. This is, yeah. It's as if you're practicing these yeah. policies of conmanship. Um, I think he, he himself, he has just conned Kenyans now, right now, because uh, whatever he said we did interview, uh, the same thing that they did in Karen when they were choosing their deputy. Well, it wasn't public. The difference yes, it wasn't public. that's the difference. Of course, they are used to hiding their things. Their cars are always hidden. But they did the same thing. Regarding Gashago was taken through rigorous voting, vetting. But um, having said no, it's a benefit again, of hindsight. Uh, Giduri Gindiki, there were cries. You no, the, saw, the benefit of hindsight. Okay. Was, 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 was it If you fair? want to know, the conmanship runs in their vein. In their exercise, there were cries loud. People cried. Kindiki Kiduri had to hold a press conference. In fact, he refused to take any yet to be called by Njurinjeke, you know, to calm him down uh, after being harassed. Did you see any cry on Azimio? Did you any see any... There was, uh, I mean, any uh, did you see Kalonzo complain? Did you there, was see, a lot of, there was a lot of complaints uh, Kalonzo from... Kalonzo complained from about the agreement, not about the vetting of the results. No, no, no. He, he at some point... He no, complained no, no, about... Uh, actually, the agreement. he said he will not go for the interview. Let, let, yeah. Let's be factual. He actually at some point said he will not go for the interview. But and he, he eventually went, went. Yeah, but so there was a public crisis, so you cannot yeah, but, say... But you see, that is not the results of after. We are talking about how fair uh, the, uh, this exercise is. When you want to see the exercise is fair, there's no cry. People are comfortable. Whoever wins carries a day is our man. But on the other side, people had a press conference. Some went to uh, sabbatical leave. During uh, Jake were to be called. Uh, no, gods were to be slaughtered to calm these people down. Uh, that's the result of conmanship. So I don't know why he now he's turning it against a very good exercise that took place in full glare of the media. And the people are comfortable. You've seen Kalonza and Mother Karua working perfectly well, and uh, they have been public together. Uh, and the Kalonzo is there. He's, you see, he's leading the Azimio Brigade very comfortably. He goes to Oma Bay with Azimio members of parliament. He holds press conference. He, he holds the government, you know, uh, with Azimio members. Okay. Uh, and the Mother Karua is, uh, is, is not there. Otherwise, it will be Mother Karua holding the press conference. So that's how we've. You know, they are trying to paint Kalonzo in a bad light, but you've talked Kalonzo very well, um, and that's maybe his issue. He, uh, we've tried to prop Kalonzo very well. He's leading us. We have no problem. Does that mean Raila is retiring? Does that mean Raila is retiring? Uh, Imagine I'm missing propping Kalonzo. Yeah. Hang on, hang you on, know, hang yeah, on. but he's a Kenyan, yeah. and I'm a Kenyan. I've <laughs> <laughs> the rights to prop and including him. <laughs> yeah, no, you, right can, you can crop prop Nimrod. anybody. You can prop Nimrod, yeah. but imagine I miss propping Kalonzo. Yes. <laughs> for heaven's sake. What's the problem with Kalonzo? What's the problem? <laughs> Kalonzo, uh, Kalonzo 
one thing I agree with Kalonzo is uh, all campus we are in wiper. I'm a wiper member. I'm a life wiper member. The only problem is uh, wiper issued the party ticket to someone else, and I wanted to run for the prep for, for the same seat, so yes. I had to go to another party. We all, all the campus have subscribed to Kalonzo. When you touch Kalonzo, you touch the campus. That is for true, and that's why I'm in serious war mm. with my friend Caleb. Mm. So should Kalonzo be the candidate? for the next time, 2027? Should it be the candidate you know, who is supporting? And I've, I've always, there's one thing I've stood with, family. I don't believe Kalonzo working with Raila. That's where I differ with Kalonzo. When Kalonzo works with Raila is when I get a problem with him. So should Raila I believe in Kalonzo working alone. So going should, should Raila alone. retire? If asked, you know, Raila, in politics, he doesn't you invest, want Kalonzo to be in the politics, president. you invest yeah. a lot. Because in how can you say you prefer Kalonzo working alone? How, can you how do you work you alone when you want you, to be a president? You, want yeah. you can't. Anybody I, mean, I don't mean working be. alone, but mm -hmm. I mean not working with Raila. So okay. what's the problem with Raila? But, but he has lost three times working with Raila. So if you lose I lost once, two times before I came here. You know, you, you can't. I think time. that's a harsh judgment. You lose a third time. I think he's being very harsh. You are pushed to a number as in you are interviewed by a missy to for the, so that you can be a running man. Okay. You know, let, let, let me what listen to I, I'm not speaking for, for, for either, either do we, side. Do we, because we, do we but sit uh, in such a situation? That's okay. so much of humiliation. The interview, was not a, the interview should not be a problem. Until that time, Kalonzo will stand alone and be seen as a leader. The way Raila is seen as a leader. The way Ruto went around this country uh, uh, as a leader. Kalonzo needs to stand out. Needs to have a backbone. Needs to have his own mind. Yeah, Come out strongly. Agree. Say, Raila, nita kuangusha. Mm. Ruto, mm. nita kuangusha. Uru, kuenda nyumbani. That's the, color, that's the man we want to see. Mm. But all the time being behind Raila, behind Raila, behind Raila, it will never work. Okay.